I'm so glad I'm wearing Depends. I said, hey, hey, musical friends, I'm so glad that I'm wearing Depends. The day is long, and sometimes I don't want to pause. So I wear Depends. So I wear Depends. Well, that depends. I wear Depends. I wear Depends. I wear Depends. Or my hind end. That's weird. But that's all right. That's what we do here. I'm just sharing this with musical friends hither and damn yon. Uh, folks, I would like to just say about yesterday, you know, sometimes things happen that are out of our control. Somehow, if people want a diagnosis of what happened yesterday, uh, prior to our stream, or my stream, you stream, we all stream for stream. whatever. Um, I had done some Wildwood videos and somehow we changed the input into OBS from being what it usually is, which is uh, logic, to being the microphone on the, on the Mac. I don't know how that's even possible, but it happened. Uh, it happened. Uh, oh, I'm so glad you got your beanie lickety split, Elliot. Awesome. Um, can you dig it? We thought we'd mess around. I've been messing around with that Albert Collins tuning a little bit. It's an F, it's an F minor chord. So you basically tune up your guitar like you're playing this F minor chord down here at the first fret. And then he would just take a capo and go up and down, uh, depending on what key he wanted to be in. But usually in like C or D. Uh, occasionally he was in E or in um, you know B flat depending on what he wanted to do. And um, there you have it. That was yesterday, and yesterday's gone. You're right, Leland Berg. You are right, although I was joking with the fellas. that I have to say that 99% of all the comments we receive are very positive, and everyone's cool, and we appreciate that immensely, believe me. But one guy was like, seriously? <laughs> I don't know what he was saying. That Like, what I, I did that, up, I, I did it on purpose. I, I messed it up on purpose. But hey, what are you going to do? We do what we must do. Black Hat Music from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Greetings to you. Uh, it is Good Friday, isn't it? Forgot about that. Because of my pagan ways. We're going to do a little um, a version of a tune from the KMT Arsenal. It's actually a little song came up with in the Moms, and, and this will be another kind of coming up with the Moms. It's, it's a single a single chord jam, and um, this is a little thing called uh, funk meat. Funk meat. All right. Mm. Uh -huh.
Can you dig it? Can and will you dig it? All right, that was fun. So again, I'm tuned to an F minor chord. But I'm capering up here. This was on the seventh fret, so I'm in the key of C, folks. <laughs> Right? And you can do all those Albert, Albert Collin, Collins isms. I'm going to do one more in this tuning. I'm going to put this thing up to the ninth fret, and now I'll be in the key of D. And we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. Ready? I want a two. I want a two. I want a two, three. <laughs> Can you dig it? Will you dig it? Done. It had to be done. It had to be done. I was using the gain on the amp right there, folks, the caulk amplifier, the Greg. I just had a, uh, a delicious communique with our friends from uh, the Netherlands where they make those amps, and I saw a bunch of amps being prepped for the great voyage across the sea. So they're on the on route. They're going out next week. Wildwood's going to get the first 18 of the little gristle amps. 
There were some Greg combos. There were some Greg heads and com, uh, cabinets. So they're on their way to the U.S. of E. Yes, the elusive, the elusive bass head. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to switch now to another guitar that's in a weird tuning. As long as we did one, Albert. I'm kind of paraphrasing a little bit of Albert Collins. Now maybe a little bit of Albert King for the people. Um, this is tuned to uh, down to C sharp, folks. This is a Gristle Master. Of course, my other guitar had Fishman pickups on it. A, uh, my signature Reverend Gristle Master has my Fluence Gristle Tone pickups for Telecaster guitar. This are my, these, this? The, well, this is a Gristle 90 guitar, and it features my uh, Gristle Tone P90 pickups from our friends at uh, Fishman. So there you go. Uh, uh, fun facts. I think that's just funny. All of a sudden, you've had chords that work great, and all of a sudden, you know what? I'm tired of working for you. Yep, that's, that's what they say. Here. All right, now, folks, this uh, this is just tuned down to C sharp. So you play it like you would be in standard tuning, except you're tuned down to C sharp. So I'm able to do all those bends, those Albert bends on the high E string in the regular kind of blues position. And what I mean by that is this first tune, this little noodle tune, and I showed the boys right before we went on, I'm just like, oh, it's in B minor. No, it's actually not in B minor. No, it's not. No, what key is it in? That would be in like A flat, wouldn't it? It's A flat. So, yeah, right, you're right. But I'm gonna be uh, playing what is usually B minor. So if I'm over here, folks. Now, usually to do those Albert King bands, you'd go up to here. But you can actually do. You get the proper right. Actually, go. That's where he would do it, right? But it's all in standard tuning. Pretty cool. Uh, anyway.
Yeah, it, it is regular, regular gauge string, so I got tens on here. Yes, and the phase switch in the middle position. So I got that out of phase thing. And I'm also upstroking everything because with Albert, everything would have been upside down, so they all would have been downstrokes, right? Albertisms for the kids. Uh, do they make even make old Milwaukee anymore? David, I have no freaking idea whether they make old Milwaukee anymore. Uh, they probably do, and even as we speak, someone's got the runs as a result of consuming the old Milwaukee. Even uh, worse, Milwaukee's best. Milwaukee's best was another heinous brew yeah. that would immediately liquefy everything in your duodenum. Do what num, do what num, do what num, do da da do 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 da do 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 yeah, you know what? Every now and again, you gotta go for a little ride. Yeah, man. A little ride to somewhere. A little ride. Yeah, dig it. If you see my little red rooster, please drive him home. Thanks, you know, but my favorite lyric is, I got a little red rooster. He's too lazy to crow for day. Call him like see him. Yeah, yeah right? Day comes. He's, what? I'm busy. I got other things to do. I'm too lazy to crow for day. Right. Check with me a little bit later on. Maybe I'll crow for afternoon or early evening. <laughs> That's what I like about the little red rooster. A fearless beast. <laughs> Key of A, uh, and then when I go to the four, that's what I, I sing. The, that's where the lyrics come in. That's kind of the feel of the. I'll dance. channel my inner Grateful Dead, Bob Weir. Oh, is he, did they do it? Yeah. So that's how, that's how little I know about the ways of the dead.
bees in the barnyard. Since that little red rooster's been gone. Well, I've got a little red rooster. Too lazy to crow for days. Keeps everything in the barnyard Upset in every way Rooster's a character. He's he's too lazy to crow for day. Okay. The dogs begin to look. I come back to the chat. And what are we talking about? Belgian beer is my favorite. That's the first comment they see. We're, we're still on, we're still on the beer. All right. I'm I, I, you know whatever you whatever trips your trig. Whatever trips your tree. <laughs>
Can you dig it? Rare. I don't know what to call that one. I like it though. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll call it Rare. Rare. Right? Yeah. All right, I'm going to switch to yet another guitar because we can and we will. We can and we will. Playing some different jam street today for the heck of it. Oh, I like that kind of talk. I like that kind of talk, people. I like that kind of talk. The spirit in the air. You better wear clean underwear. It's important. I think it's important to identify yourself. I think it's important. Son of a bitch. Looks like it's new chord time here in Orange Room. Looks like it's looks like it's new chord time. Uh, oh, maybe we could do one way out. Maybe we could try that. There's no trick to it, right? I don't think so. Second floor. Right about this time, I won't be a trap no more. Raise your window, baby, so I can ease out soft and slow. And your man, it won't be warm. Dog and that stuff that they don't know.
out, babe Lord, I just can't go out that door Ain't by one way out, babe Lord, I just can't go out that door Cause there's a man down there Might be your man, I don't know Cause there's a man down there Might be your man, I don't know Cause there's a man down there Lord, it ain't not that to be your man Lord, it just might be your man Lord, it just might be your man Oh, baby, I just don't know Clack, cook, cook, clack, cook A rando version. A rando version of uh, the one way out. Might be your band. I don't know. It might be your band. I don't know. Because there's a man down there. The B90s do sound good. I dig them big time. I dig them again and again. But it did it did. A big, thick, juicy, succulent, and robust situation. There you go. A robust situation, folks in heat. Robust situation. How about that one Mooney song? I don't know. Do you remember that one? We rehearsed it. Now we're ready. This is a song I uh, came up with, and uh, it's called uh, <laughs> it's called it's called Mooney's Revenge. It features young Dylan James on the drums, and uh, it's a song that conjures up the feeling of the Who while remaining independent thereof of their composition. <laughs>
little bit of that rock music. Nicely done, Matt. Turn of the Burner came to play. Nice job, Dylan James. Hitting them drums like a damn banshee in heat. Dylan is killing it. Dylan is killing it. Dylan is killing it. That's what we do. Dylan is killing it. Maybe we should do a little, uh, a little uh, surf zap for the kids. Yeah, man. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, you got the uh, surf and then the uh, dancing confused solo. Right. Exactly. Gotcha. And then back out into. That's what I do with my. That's what I do with my mouthwash every morning. That's not even true. Um, here we go. <laughs>
I pulled that G-string right out of the nut. <laughs> Fellas, I pulled that G-string right out of the nut. Woo! I pulled that G-string right out the nut. 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 Mm. Yeah, I like all that kind of talk. That's all so damn dirty. Don't, don't, don't. I like music, fellas. Music makes me feel so damn good in my corns. Now, folks, I did record a version of that on my record Double the Gristle back in the day, back in 1996. You can find that on the inner Google. Surf Zap, I call that one. See what I did there? Surf Zap. Mmm. Surf zap, but it did it, but it did it, but it did it, but it did All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna leave you with a tune I like to play, and uh, we do it a lot, but people like it, we like it, so it works out good. Sure. It's a song called Unrepentant, and it goes skunk, kahunga dunk, link dunk, blink, bladder kunk. Ha hunga dookie looky dookie total honk honk a dookie ring dunk dunk pana a sugar booky dokey doody uh do I ever use a did I ever use a Floyd Rose? No, I never really did. Uh bonk hoka dooka dook 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 ha da don't a hope a doopa doopa doopy loady bomb ba hooka doop
felt that one down in my, down in my damn corns. corns. My corns felt the heat. Our corns felt the heat. It's good enough to eat. Our corns felt the heat. That's a song called Unrepentant. It's one of my own damn jams off a record of the same damn name, Unrepentant. Now we're still on beer. Someone said Chimay, Chimay Ale. I remember drinking those big bottles back in the day. Big old bottles of Chimay. Mmm, yes. I used to have, my favorite dark beer was Erdinger Dark Weiss. Dunkelweizen. Oh, that was so delicious back in the day. But then it turned me into a great beast. Roar! Stand clear. You stand firm. You better watch out. It may be your turn to feel the wrath of the Sasquatch and heat after too many Chimay's or a Dunkelweizen. Look out now. He's coming up strong, laughing, joking, and singing a song. What? You better beware. You better wear some clean underwear. Say what? I don't even know what we just did, but it felt so damn good. All right, we're going to leave you with one more incendiary jam, and then we're going to make our way into the weekend. Everybody's working for the weekend. Everybody needs a second chance. Everybody's working for the damn weekend. <laughs> What's going on over there? I don't know. Things are going on. Dylan just yeah. unleashed the damn beast. He said, you know what? I'm weekend Dylan now. I'm officially weekend Dylan. I'm officially weekend Dylan. Uh, what are we going to do? We should do something rocking. Hey, man. All right. All right. We're going to do something rocking. You got one? Huh? You got one in your brain? That, uh, They're good for whatever. Uh, do, 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 do. We could. It's always the right time. Shoot down some of those airplanes you ride in. Those are the ones that are flying too long. Stack a flank of daddy's plonk a dog a play to do. Two, three, four. Taking 
Special of ones and I'm flying too low Well shoot down some of those airplanes Yeah, 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 yeah Special of ones that are flying too low Come back down to earth, my friend Well come back down with me We've all been through the night time, baby With the power of you and a thing that you want to do.
power of soul, anything is indeed possible. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to our Friday High Day. Friday High Day, we're letting the good times roll. Turn to the burner on bass. That's Matt Turner on the damn bass. We got Dylan James Cock on the damn drum. That's my boy. I'm Gregory S. Cock Esquire. We're here every Monday and Friday from 4 to 5. Mondays, usually it's Dylan and myself. Turn to the burner joins us on Fridays for a good old-fashioned rock session. Happy Easter to one and all. It is the weekend of the Easter. And uh, we're making your Easter ham is in the oven. Oh, yeah. Remember that one from, remember that old jingle? There's a jingle around here. We like to have ham. I like ham. It's so damn delicious. It's so damn juicy and succulent. I like ham. It's so juicy and succulent. Ham is juicy. Ham is succulent. I like a ham. It is so juicy and succulent. Ham. Easter ham. It's in the oven. Uh, folks, take it easy. Is that, is that Rhett out there? Red Shull is in the house. He's causing trouble. I bet he likes to eat ham. Ham is delicious. Uh, Jesus just left the graveyard. <laughs> Jesus just left the Schwabanon. Schwabanon, Wisconsin. And he's bound for the cock residence for some delicious Howie Howie Ham. And he's bound for the cock residence to have uh, some delicious Howie Ham. Mm. Ham's the beer refreshing. It is. Ham's the beer refreshing. Ham. All right, folks, thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great holiday weekend. Take it easy, but take it. Rhett, sh- Rhett says he can confirm he does love ham. Rhett can confirm he does like ham. Rhett. kind of ham. You got to prepare it right, though. That shit dries out. (laughs) Am I right or am I right? I just like that juicy kind of ham. Or turkey. I saw that. All right. All right, folks. Take it easy, but take it. As I like to say, don't forsake it. Warm it up. Baste it. Make sure it's juicy. That's, That's all I got to say. Goodbye now. We'll see you later.